Anyway, okay, here we go. Vamos. I, oh, first of all, uh, who's going to read? Quien quiere leer? I'll read some. I can read. Okay. I Whoever went first? Uh, Kim, I saw your hand first. Did someone else? Did you? Who else? Jenny, did you read? Okay. Tanya, Jenny, yes. Tanya Jenny, wanted. Tanya Evelyn, wanted. Uh, you guys start. Did you say for me to start? Uh, Bertita has a yeah, small house with yeah. two rooms, two bedrooms, and two baths. One bedroom is for Bertita, and one bedroom is for Floyd. Floyd is very happy because he has his own bedroom and hey. Okay, read one more and then you're done. We okay. lost you, Kim. Okay, Jenny, why don't you go ahead, read the next paragraph. Is exclusively for animals. One of the bats is exclusively for people and the other, um, that should have been bathroom, by the way. The other, Banyo, oh, the other bath is exclusively for animals. Okay, Jenny, go ahead. There's another elephant. The elephant's name is Harvey. Harvey um, does not live in the house and does not live in an apartment. He lives in a hotel. The hotel's name is elephant, is elephant number six. As uh, the hotel is exclusively for elephants, the hotel is in San Francisco. Okay, uh, Tanya, do I read? Sure. I want to like you to read because you said it was hard. So <laughs> I, I've been studying today. So yeah. uh, one day, one day Harvey needs to use the bathroom, but he can't use the a bathroom in San Francisco. There is no extra bathroom in San Francisco. Harvey went to Salem, Oregon. He wants to use Bertita's bathroom. He goes to McDonald's because he wants to use the bathroom at McDonald's, but they don't permit animals in their bathroom. Poor Harvey cannot use the McDonald's bathroom because he is an animal. Harvey went to Bertita's house. He enters the house and speaks with her. He says, Bertita, I need to use the bathroom. Can I use a bathroom in your house? Bertita makes an exception and she responds, I generally don't permit animals in my bathroom, but you are an excellent elephant. I can make an exception. You can use my bathroom. Harvey uses the bathroom and now he's very happy. You're amazing. Tanya. Yeah. I've been That's studying amazing. today. You're amazing. Tanya, you said they don't permit animals in the bathroom. Why did you say they? Uh, where was that at? I'd have to see the words on there. Where... Uh... No permit to los animales. Yeah. Look up above the paragraph where it says Harvey. Just two or three lines Harvey. above that. Harvey went to Harvey. Harvey Wait. went to bed oh, no, the don't. house. Look about five, four or five lines where it says no permiten animales en el baño. You said they don't permit animals in the bathroom. Why did you say they? Because um because well because it says McDonald's. So when it said uh, no, pero no permiten, no permiten animals en el baño. I did that assumption that McDonald's is a they. Okay, yeah. You answered that right. It's a, the, the N makes it they. The N and permiten. Right. So when you see an N, that's how you know it's they. If per, so instead of no there, permit, if it just said permite, that's he doesn't. Okay. Care. But if you say permiten, then it's they don't permit. So these are people working in McDonald's that don't allow elephants in their bathroom. Thank you. That was Tanya. I love hearing you. You're just so good. <laughs> this makes me happy. Okay, uh, I need the same characters from yesterday. So we have Bertita and Harvey and who was the other one? Floyd. Oh, Floyd, Floyd. El Gato, Floyd. Okay. So I don't see where they are, but I'll start talking and then they'll, they'll pop up here. We're not seeing a screen. Oh, un momento. 
Uh, share screen. Yeah, thank you. So just to clarify, um, is Bertita's a chica? Yeah. And Harvey's an elefante, and Floyd is a, is a gato? Yes, that's right. Oh, thank Harvey's you. an Gracias. elephant, Bertita's a girl, and Floyd's a cat. El gato Floyd. Gracias. Yeah. Okay, hay una chica, la chica se llama Bertita. Bertita es una chica y Bertita vive, ¿dónde? ¿Dónde vive? Salem, Oregon. Salem, Salem Oregon. Oregon. And vive en la calle, vive en una casa o vive en un apartamento? Vive en una, 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 una casa. En una casa. En un apartamento. Grande, Grande. casa pequeña. Casa pequeña. Casa pequeña. There's no watcher in your screen. What's that? Uh, I don't see your screen. Do you guys see it or not? No. Oh, Just you. We're looking at you. Sorry, 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 sorry. I thought I did this. We like seeing you, but we're there just we seeing go. you. <laughs> we want to see Bertita. That's what we're trying to do. I have a question. Yes, ask. Um, you said um, a dormitorio, a, or a, no, a casa, um, apartamento, or a calle? So you said, what's a Oh, what is it? Street. Oh. Okay, street? thank you. A calle street. Always ask. That's a street? Yeah, calle is C-A-L-L-E. Calle. Calle. That L-L -L is pronounced. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, calle. 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 There it is. I thought you were saying car yesterday. Calle. Uh, yeah. Car. You were car is car. Uh, and yay. Calle is three. Okay. Now, can you guys, every time you stop and ask, it makes me feel happy. <laughs> I know you guys, it's hard to do it, but. There's, there's 20 other people that don't know that word and they're not asking and you have the courage to do it. Celebración. It's really important that you do that. And the reason is, is because your brain goes to that word and it doesn't go to the rest. And you'll stop working and you'll go back, but it take, there's a long, a lot of class that you lose by not asking for the word. And just Did we get used to doing it. Did we just use that word in a sentence and I missed the sentence? Did we just use calle in a sentence? Yeah, I did, but see, my problem is, is I know most of the words you know, but I don't know every word you know. And gotcha. So I'm trying Does to mean guess street? that word. Street? You know. Calle. Street. street, yeah. I put it up there if you can see it. It's on, it should be on your screen. I can write it down later because I don't know. Can you see it on your screen? It's right there on the left side of your screen. Yeah, it should be on the left side of your screen. Can you yeah, see I it? see it. It's like call B. Calle. Calle. LL, just imagine it's a Y. Calle. 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 You're going to hear that more because we have in our stories people that live in the street. A lot of people end up living in the street. It's just the way our stories go. When you have me, now with Vaughn and Craig, I don't know, but with me, somebody will live in the street. Okay. Classe. Bertita vive en casa, apartamento, o en la calle. Vive en casa. Casa grande o casa pequeña? Casa pequeña. Casa pequeña. ¿Y la casa pequeña tiene un dormitorio, dos dormitorios o tres dormitorios? Dos. Dos dormitorios. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué dos? Una persona. Correcto. Tiene un dormitorio para Bertita, 
Dormitorio número dos es para... Floyd. 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 El gato Floyd. El gato Floyd. Dormitorio número dos es para personas o para animales? Para, para animales. animales. Para animales. Floyd es persona o animal? Floyd es animal. 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 animal, correcto. Y Floyd es muy interesante porque Floyd habla dos lenguas. Oh, oh. Excelente, ¿no? Celebración sí. para Floyd. Sí. Floyd. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué hay una celebración para Floyd? Porque habla dos lenguas. Habla dos lenguas. Habla dos lenguas. Lengua número uno es... Gato. 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 Correcto. Lengua Gato. número dos... Español. Elefante. Elefante, correcto. Uh, elefante. Puede hablar con Harvey. Y Harvey puede hablar con Floyd. Es increíble. Situación increíble. Increíble. Uh, can you just repeat that really quick? I heard too much talking over. I couldn't hear what you said in the story. After Floyd, Floyd habla dos lang language, Lenguas. lengua, sí. lengua um, uno habla. es gato, dos es elefante, and then Harvey Cohn. No, okay, Floyd habla gato y elefante. Sí. Elefante. Floyd, Harvey habla dos lenguas. ¿Qué habla Harvey? Elefante Elefante y, y, y inglés. Correcto. Elefante e inglés. Dos lenguas. Harvey puede hablar con Bertita? Sí. No. Oh. Sí. Sí. Harvey sí. habla inglés y Bertita habla inglés. Es obvio. Oh. Harvey puede hablar con Bertita en inglés. Bertita puede hablar con Harvey en inglés. Es fantástico. ¿Y Harvey puede hablar con Floyd? No. no. Clase. Harvey. Harvey. Oh, elefante. Ah, sí. Habla elefante. elefante. Y Floyd habla elefante. Es una situación fantástica. Hay una chica, la chica es Bertita. Bertita vive en Salem, Oregon. Tiene una casa en Salem, Oregon. La casa no es grande. La casa es pequeña. La casa tiene dos dormitorios, dos baños. Tiene un dormitorio exclusivamente para personas. Dormitorio número uno. Dormitorio número dos es exclusivamente para... Animales. Animales. Específicamente para... Para gatos. Oh, gatos. Correcto, gatos. Y también, pues también... Also. Also. También hay... Also. Those I'm sorry, are... I'm having a real hard time hearing. I think someone has two devices that are both not on mute or something. There's a lot of staticky background noise. Yeah, mute if you're not sure. If you're, uh, I'll try and just do more one on one so it won't be. I like the group feedback, but if it's, we, uh, we can't have feedback. Okay, baño numero uno es para Bertita. Y baño numero dos es para. Floyd. Floyd. Correcto. Muy bien. Uh, Shelly, describe la situación de Bertita. Hay una chica, la chica es Bertita. Bertita um, vive en Salem, Oregon, en pequeña casa. Um, Bertita tiene um, dos dormitorios en casa y dos baños, um, dormitorio uno, número uno, y baño número uno es por personas, um, 
y dormitorio 2 y baño 2 para um, animales. Celebración, muy bien. Hey, Marilyn, describe la situación de Batista. Did you say? Marilyn. No. Um, Bertita vive en Salem, Oregon, en casa pequeña, um, con su gato Floyd. Um, Bertita's casa tiene dos dormitorios y dos baños. Um, baños y dormitorio uno es para personas, baños número Um, dos y dormitorio número dos es para animales. Celebración, muy bien. Floyd, describe tu situación y la situación de Bertita. Uh, sí. Uh, estoy en Salem, Oregon con mi amiga Bertita en su casa. Su casa es no grande, su casa es pequeño y tiene dos dormitorios y dos baños. Uh, dormitorio uno es para Bardita y dormitorio dos es para mí. Uh, oh. Y baño número uno es para personas. Uh, y el baño número dos es para animales, um, exclusivamente el gatos. Oh. Uh, sí. Increíble. Excelente, Floyd. Gato, Floyd. Good job, Floyd. Para el gato. Muy bien. El gato habla mucho español. Lauren, describe la situación de Bertita. Um, hay una chica, la chica es Bertita. Uh, Bertita uh, vive um, en Salem, Oregon, en su casa. Uh, su casa tiene uh, dos dormitorios. Um, un dormitorio es para um, personas, um, o Bertita, y um, uh, dormitorio número dos es para um, Floyd, su gato. Um, uh, su casa tiene dos baños. Um, un baño es para personas exclusivamente. Um, y uh, otro baño es para animales. Celebración. Excelente. You know, one thing when you guys talk, you almost never make grammatical errors. Your Spanish, if a Spanish person heard you, they, they would hear almost perfect Spanish. And some of you don't make any errors in your describe the situation. It's, it's really amazing to see it. It just, it makes me feel so happy you can talk so well. Okay. Celebration. Celebration para la clase, correcto. Okay, now I'm gonna give you 45 seconds if you run out of things to talk about, talk about the languages that they can talk. You know, talk, or let's try a minute. See if you can go a whole minute. So remember that Floyd speaks two languages. He speaks cat and elephant. Harvey speaks two languages. Harvey speaks elephant and English. Harvey can talk with Bertita. Bertita can talk with Harvey. So that'll give you a lot to talk about. See if you can talk for the whole minute. Everybody mute. How do you say it with each other? Con, just use their names. Okay. I could tell you, but you wouldn't remember it. <laughs> so, okay. Just say con, um, con, sorry. Con, con Floyd. That'll get you stronger with that instead of adding that it'll make you less Okay, everyone's got one minute. <laughs> Oh, do you have another question? Anybody else? Oh, yes. Isabel. Uh, I do. Yes. Uh, sorry, you cut out when you said what languages Bertita um, talks. So, like, what she talks languages English. does she speak? English? Okay. Yeah, she speaks English, but you can add whatever else you want for Bertita. Okay, go ahead. You got one minute. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. 
And let you see, you've got okay. Tempo, there's one minute. Okay, show me your level of confidence from one to five. I think in three, three or four, three, four, three, four, <laughs> three, four. <laughs> okay. Tanya, I want to hear what three sounds like. Just talk for 30 seconds to everybody. So I want to hear your three. Okay. Oh, okay. Hay una chica, la chica es Bertita. Um, <laughs> Bertita tiene una casa pequeña con dos dormitorios y dos baños. Un dormitorio es uh, para Bertita y un Dormitorio es para Floyd. Um, un, I think that I just get lost writing the stories, you know, trying to keep track of the story. And that's why I get lost in the story. I lose my place. That was an example of Spanish. Thank you. That's, no grammatical errors there. A Spanish person would say, you'd say, oh boy, you speak good Spanish. It just, I love it. Good job, you guys. Gracias. Okay, uh, Bertita. Quién es Bertita? Marilyn, were you Bertita yesterday? Bertita, describe tu situación. Um, yo soy Bertita. Um, let's see. Yo estoy en Salem, Oregon. Yo tengo um, una casa pequeña. Um, mi casa tiene dos dormitorios y dos baños. Um, yo tengo un gato, se llama Floyd. Floyd habla gato y elefante. Um, Floyd habla elefante con Harvey. Floyd habla... Um, Floyd no camino caro con mí. Floyd habla un poco de inglés. Oh, Floyd, oh, Floyd, poco, poquito inglés sí. con mí. Um, sí. Floyd usa baño dos. Sí. Um, ¿Por qué usa baño uno? ¿Por qué usa Sorry? baño dos? Porque baño dos es para ambos exclusivamente. Sí. Es interesante. Es una situación interesante. Muy bien. Excelente. Bertita. Uh, Bertita tiene una situación interesante porque vive en Salem, Oregon. Y clase, yo tengo una situación interesante. Yo... Oh. Sí, sí. Yo vivo en la calle. Salem, Oregon. Alaska. Alaska. En Alaska. ¿Dónde en Alaska? En la calle. Vivo en Dead Horse, Alaska. <laughs> What is it? Y 
Tango, vi, uh, tango Vivo en la Calle. Mm, no. No, no. Fría. Tengo Hace frío. Hace muy... mucho frío. Pero tengo un elefante. What? Mi elefante vive en la calle. Oh. Sí. Yo tengo una casa y mi casa es grande, grande, grande. Mi casa tiene muchos dormitorios. Mm. Mucho. 22 dormitorios. Sí. ¿22? Sí, es una casa muy grande. Porque muy yo no vivo solo. ¿Vivo solo? No. No. No vivo solo. Vivo con... Elefante. Elefante. Sí, vivo con un elefante y 20 mosquitos. ¿20 mosquitos? Wow. 20 mosquitos. ¿20? 20 es 20, yes. 20. Tengo un dormitorio para mí. I'm, oh, man. Un dormitorio oh. para un visitante. Can you hear that word? Visitante. Visitante? Visitors? Yeah. Visitors. Para un visitante. Es un dormitorio. Visitante. Para un... Would you, would you add that to our, our screen, please? Are you doing that now? Thank you. I was trying to expect a while to do it. Tango. We've lost your share screen. Oh, okay. Okay, un momento. Tengo un dormitorio para mí. Un visitante. Y tengo un dormitorio para un visitante. Y tengo 20 dormitorios para los mosquitos. 20 dormitorios para los mosquitos. Un dormitorio para un visitante. Y un dormitorio para mí. Uh, Don Ro, describe mi situación. Uh, tú, tú está en Dead Horse, Alaska. Uh, tú tienes un casa grande en una casa grande en Dead Horse. Uh, la casa tiene 22 dormitorios uh, y un dormitorio oh. para, you, para ti uh, y uh, un dormitorio para visitante. Uh, y 20 dormitorios para uh, para los mosquitos. But 20, mos 20 dormitorios para 20 mosquitos. 20 dormitorios para 20. Interesante. Oh, yeah. Mi casa es grande, grande. Porque tengo muchos dormitorios. Sí. Clase. Sí. 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 Tengo 22 baños también. ¿22 baños? 22, 22 baños. Tengo un baño para mí. Y tengo un baño para un visitante. Uh, y tengo 20 baños para 20 mosquitos. Es una situación muy interesante. Uh, Harvey, elefante Harvey, describe mi situación. 
Your situation. Mi situación. Who tengo en donde? Rio, Red Harbor, Alaska. Tiene casa grande con 22 dormitories. No vive solo. Vive con elefantes en 20 mosquitos. Uh, Tiene un dormitorio para mí. Uh, un, dormitorio, un dormitorio para visitante. 20 dormitorios. Uh, for para 20 mosquitos. Celebración, muy bien, correcto. Okay, uh, Vivian, now when, when she, when Jenny talked, she said tienes, tu tienes. She put an S on the tiene. Why would she do that? Are you asking me? Yeah, Vivian. Oh, sorry, uh, because it's the U form of ten tener. Yeah, whenever you talk to someone, you're gonna put an S. Then it sounds like you instead of he. Tú tienes, tú estás, tú vives would be all examples if you're talking to me. Uh, Peter, describe mi situación porque yo vivo en Dead Horse, Alaska. Tengo una casa grande en Dead Horse. Tengo un dormitorio para mí. Tengo un dormitorio para visitantes. Y tengo 20 dormitorios para 20 mosquitos. Describe mi situación. Tú vives en Dead Horse, Alaska. Tú, ti, uh, tú, tú tienes uh, un casa grande. Casa Grande tienes 22 dormitorios. Uh, un dormitorio para ti. Un dormitorio para visitante. Y 20 dormitorios para mosquitos. Celebración, muy bien, excelente. Tanya, describe. Sí. Situación. Um, tú estás en Dead Horse, Alaska. Tú tienes um, una casa grande en Dead Horse. La casa, I, I have you in la casa, uh, está 32 dormitorios. ¿Es that correcto? 20, 32 o 22? 22, 22. Gotcha. Uh, 20, so, Tu casa, uh, 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 how do I say as, has, is it I? Then yes. they do, dos dormitorios um, para 20, 20 mosquitos, 20 dos baños in tu casa. That's what I got. Thanks. Celebración, muy bien. Excelente. <laughs> Isabella, describe mi situación. Uh, tu vivo en Dead, Dead Horse, Alaska. Okay, tu, tu, tienes... vivo, tu vivo says you, I live. Anytime oh, tu vive. Tu vives, put an S for tu. Okay, so tu vives en Dead Horse, Alaska. Tu tienes un elefante. Tu tienes... Uh, Casa muy grande, uh, con mucho dormitorios, uh, dormitorios, uh, tu vivo en, sorry, tu vivo con elefante en, uh, e, wait, how do you say and again? E? E. Okay. E, vente mosquitos, un dormitorios, uh, un dormitorio visitante, uh, 20 dormitorios para mosquitos, uh, un dormitorio para tú, um, 20 dos ban, uh, do, dos ban, uh, un ban para tú y una, un ban, 
Dada para visitante, vente baño para vente mosquitos. Is anybody else getting terrible feedback? I don't know where. I am. I, I can it's barely. It's like yeah, it's has really their bad. radio going in the background or their TV going in the background, and they're not realizing that we're hearing their TV instead of the lesson. This isn't TV that I'm hearing. It's a bunch of screeching and and just noise, and I can barely oh, okay. hear what people yeah. are saying. Mute if you're not sure. Mute if you're uh, not talking. Okay. Uh, I have a question. Like, yes, oh, sure. sorry. Yeah. Go ahead, Lauren. Yeah. <laughs> um, if, if you're saying um, one room is for a visitor, so un dormitorio para un visitante, and then you want to say one room is for me, do you have to repeat dormitorio again, or can you just say un para mi? It would be whatever sounds right in English on that. OK. You could do, it's the same system as English. So, and, uh, uno para, uno me. para me, uno para one for. Okay. And, and so you can say like okay. one visitor is un visitante, but you could say los visitantes for the visitors. So I can say one room is for a visitor, one is for me. Or do, does that uno, sound? Uno es yeah. para mí. One okay. is for me. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Correcto. Thank Adrian, you. Describe mi situación. Vivian. Describe. Sorry, I was talking to myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> to describe your situation. Mi situación. Sí, okay. Uh, to Eres plain, tu estás en uh, Dead Horse, Alaska, tu vives en su casa, es muy, muy grande, uh, tu tiene un elefante, uh, su elefante vive en la calle, uh, su casa tiene 22 uh, dormitorios y 22 baños. Uh, uno, ba uno dormitorio es para ti, uh, uno dormitorio es para un visitante, y los otros dormitorios uh, son para los mosquitos. Celebración, muy bien. Good job, Vivian. Yeah, now one thing she did that was really good, when you talk about more than one bedroom, you say the word are, you say son. And Vivian said that, she said, los otros dormitorios son para los mosquitos. If it's just one dormitorio, you say S. If it's more than one, you say son. Great job, Vivian. Uh, Kim, describe la situación, mi situación. Uh, tú eh, estás en Dead Horse, Alaska. Mm -hmm. Tú vive en... Uh, su casa grande, muy grande, con, um, tú tienes un elefante, um, el, el elefante vive en le, la calle, su casa tiene, tiene uh, 22 dormitorios, uno para ti, uno para um, un visitante y 20 para uh, los mosquitos. Celebración, muy bien, correcto. Yo vivo en Dead Horse, Alaska. Yo tengo un amigo, mi amigo es un elefante. Y mi elefante no vive en mi casa. Mi elefante vive en la calle. Es una situación diferente. Yo tengo 20 mosquitos en mi casa. Los 20 mosquitos tienen 20 dormitorios. Y los mosquitos viven en los dormitorios. Y yo vivo en mi dormitorio. 
pero tengo un dormitorio extra. Mi dormitorio extra es para los visitantes. Hay una chica. La chica se llama Bertita. Bertita vive en Salem, Oregon. Bertita es una chica muy interesante. Ella tiene una casa. Pero su casa no es grande. Ella tiene una casa pequeña. Su casa tiene dos dormitorios. Una casa para, un dormitorio para Bertita. Un dormitorio para Floyd. Floyd es su gato. Floyd es un gato interesante. Floyd habla gato y elefante. Hay un elefante. El elefante se llama Harvey. Harvey está en San Francisco. Harvey quiere usar el baño en McDonald's. ¿Puede o no puede? No puede. No puede. No puede. No puede. Porque no permiten. No permite. No permiten a los animales en el baño en San Francisco. Así que Harvey fue a Salem, Oregon. Fue a la casa de Bertita. Bertita. Y Harvey dijo, hola Bertita, necesito usar el baño. Y Bertita explicó la situación. Bertita dijo, hmm, generalmente no permito animales en mi casa. Pero ahora hago is I make. Hago una excepción. It's like tengo for I have, but hago is I make or I do. Hago una excepción. Y entonces Harvey entró en el baño. Harvey usó el baño. Oh. Celebración para Harvey. Mm -hmm. Yay, yeah, Harvey, correcto. Es una situación muy interesante. Correcto. Uh, can you put up algo? Yeah. Oh. If I still have this. Yeah. I don't know. Entonces. Entonces. Okay, good. I'll put them both up. Okay, algo is H A G O I do or make. Entonces is a connecting word. Like you say, and then, entonces. So is ago the I form of ase? Yes, it is. Yeah, they're the same verb. Yeah, ase and ago are the same. Like, and what's the verb? Ase. Yeah. Okay, H A C E R. Okay. Yeah. Put that in there. Yeah. Yeah. So would it be assess for you? Yeah. Like you make? Yes, that's right. <laughs> that's too mean. What? I'm like having a discussion. Quiero assess. Like I want to. Go. Ago, ago. I gotta remember that one. That's really easy, but yeah, would you fun. use a you're talking about, like making I do my cookies or something? Yeah, Ago. Yeah. Quiero hacer galletas. Uh, hey, say, I don't want to do anything. No quiero hacer nada. I don't want to do anything. No quiero. No quiero preparar. Quiero hacer pizza. Okay, is saying, these idiots are, you know, totally listening to the hype and blah, blah, blah. She's from Billy, Texas. She's in yeah. 
What is she doing? I think you guys should be on mute. <laughs> I want muted people here. I told you the very first, this was our biggest problem is muted, you know, it's just tough. People got to stay on mute for the class. Okay. Uh, let's have everybody mute. I know I'm giving you a lot here. See if you can go a minute. Well, let's go a minute and a half. So you've got a lot to talk about. You've got all this information about me. You've got Harvey the elephant. You've got Floyd the cat. You've got Bertita. And then you've got my 20 mosquitoes, my house in Dead Horse, Bertita's house in uh, Salem, mm -hmm. and then Floyd that tried to go to the bathroom in San Francisco and they don't permit elephants in their bathroom. So he went to Salem. So you got quite a bit to talk about. See if you can do uh, a minute and a half this time. Okay, so everybody mute and go ahead and start. Okay. Um, name? No. Two minutes. And two minutes. And that for how long is gone? Two minutes. Okay, tiempo. Okay, I want to hear someone that is a three. Someone's a three, I want you to tell me. I just like to hear your Spanish. Does anyone want to talk? It's a three, felt like you were a three. John, do I do it? Are you a three? Oh, you're four. Who's a three? Paige, do I do it? Were you three? You, who else is a three? No one? I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, do it. Um, tu vives in Dead Horse, Alaska. Um, tu tienes un casa muy, muy grande. Um, la casa tiene 22 dormitorio y 22 baños. Um, in uno, uh, let's see. <laughs> In baño, um, excuse me, una baño para tu y, um, oh, I'm sorry, una dormitorio para tu, um, otro dormitorio para visitantes, um, uh, otra dormitorios para Veinte uh, los mosquitos. That's it. Try Bertita now. Ah, Bertita es un uh, es una chica. Uh, Bertita vive in oh gosh Salem, Salem, Oregon. Bertita's Bertita tiene um, casa pequeña. Uh, Dos dormitorio, dormitorio uno es exclamante uh, personas, uh, 
dos dormitorio para animales. Um, Berdita tiene un gato, se llama Floyd. Salvación, muy bien, excelente, good job, you guys. Uh, I want you to try two minutes in. Uh, I want breakout rooms here. Just I'm not seeing. It. There it is. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give you between three and four minutes in breakout rooms. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and I'll tell you when you're halfway done. Thank you. Okay, so just join your room and then you'll have a person. I moved you around, Paige, because <laughs> I could see who, where you were, and so there was someone that didn't have a person, so I moved you down there. All right. Well, I like breakout rooms. <laughs> They're not so intimidating. Yeah. 
I love it. And when we do it in Portuguese, I love it. I can just talk and it just feels good, you know, that language yeah. that you had, what you can say. Oh, that's right. It's the first time it didn't work. You got to try it to learn. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, Carol. <laughs> It's My daughter teaches middle school Spanish, and she was so frustrated yesterday because it's all Zoom now because of COVID. She has one section of kids. They don't put their video on, and they won't participate, and she gets so frustrated. <laughs> I said, I don't know how they could possibly learn, but I, at that age, I'm proud of the young people in our class who take a chance. Oh, I know it. They do so well. They do great. I know. I remember uh, Julie yesterday. Boy, she was amazing. I know these kids are great. <laughs> very, very, very smart. And capable. Johannes, really, oh, he's amazing. It's really, it's really fun uh, seeing the whole class getting better. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. mm -hmm. This is so good for me to miss classes and then see where you are. Yeah. I wish we could all meet in person one day. That would be awesome. <laughs> no. That would be quite a quite a journey. <laughs> yes, it would be. <laughs> Thank you very much for class. It was very enjoyable. Who comes from? Who lives the farthest away? I don't know. know. Where are you? I, Where's Blaine? I live in Utah, but I'm in Arizona uh, this week. I went down to see Vaughn. Vaughn lives in Arizona, so we came down and saw Vaughn. Okay, and I'm in Montana just recently, but used to be in Washington State. Mm -hmm. um, where do you live, Sundia? I'm in Michigan. Oh, wow. Is it cold there? Um, today was a beautiful day, probably 45. Wow, nice. Wow. Very, unusual, very unusual. Same here. Don, aren't you in Minnesota or something? Yeah, I'm in Minnesota. We had a very nice day here, too. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Who's farthest? Who's farthest in this class? Vivian lives in Canada. I knew Vivian's Vancouver. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's farther than Michigan, though. For That's further. <laughs> Vivian, you and I used to be neighbors. What, yeah. do you, what grade do you teach? I work in a high school. I work with different grades of um, sort of complex learners, special ed. Uh, nice. I'm a retired teacher. So when you went back to school, I, I kept wanting to ask you what level you were. Wow. How about Yan Lee? Where does she live? <laughs> is she here? I don't think she's here I today. I think she lives like somewhere like Florida or something. I can't remember where she told. I was in a breakout room with her. It was somewhere in the States. Yeah. And uh, Jenny is in California. But she, okay. So she's by where we used to live in California, Bakersfield. But she lives in Boise. And I grew up in Boise. So I have wow. With Jenny. <laughs> now, if I were just a really good Spanish speaker, <laughs> well, takes you're getting very I'm good. I'm working on it. <laughs> you're doing well. Thank you for everyone's help and their understanding. Oh, yeah. I feel the same way. Shush. This is a process of learning, you know, but you're just learning so, so fast. And when you see where you, where you are in 50 hours or 100 hours, it's amazing where your brains go and just how fast you can do it, you know. What do you think, Blaine, about the difference between having um, how we do Spanish three days in a row and then having uh, Portuguese or French once a week? What difference do you notice? I mean, I think this will prog progress three times faster. Yeah. It's the number of hours that matters. Okay. Yeah. I find, though, that I like having it, and of course, this is the first language class I've taken, but I like having it three consecutive days because those are the nights where I have those dreams and I'm using oh, yeah. them. I review, and then I sometimes feel like from Thursday to Tuesday is a long break. Like, I might not remember it, but I usually do okay remembering, but I think it's nice to have it boom, boom, boom for me. Mm -hmm. I like that too. Yeah, I do too. So is the French one that once a week, is it three times as long then or is it just an no, hour it's once an a week? Hour. It takes long to get there. You guys get so much more exposure because you're doing it three times a week. Yeah. It's hard to get a hundred hours like what we're going to get with this class. We made it so you could get a hundred hours. Uh -huh. Cool, you usually get 150 hours. 
Okay. Really? Yeah. Okay. In school? Yeah, because you have an hour of class, five days a week, 36 weeks. And that's where we, it's really more like 180, but we figure you're getting 150 in school in a year, that, that's pretty good. So you'll have like two thirds of a Spanish one. Okay. But to get to where we think you'll be, where we've already done this, you're gonna be at these intermediate levels Next four years of school, get to an intermediate low. And that's our goal for you after the 100 hours here. How many hours have we done so far? Oh, I think it's, someone said 30 or something. 30? Okay. 30. Sometimes I watch the YouTubes of, I think it's his name, Nathan in Korea. Nathan in Korea. Yeah, I watched, I've watched him, he only does it once a week and it's in the middle of the night for me. So I watch it, the video after and he seems to be like going faster than we are, like moving through it more quickly. Yeah, because he's only got two students. <laughs> yeah, they get to do, they get to do a lot of talking. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that he gets to go at their speed. And oh, I see, right. He can push them faster. Yeah. yeah. They're on the first story though, and they're about 16 hours, but they're on the very first story. Yeah, yeah. He said they're, they're just amazing. He's in my last, the class I taught just before this. Now he's in that class, and so here it's afternoon here, and then he has to leave just a little bit early to go to work because it's at the beginning of his day there. Yeah. So it's Friday morning there, so he goes to school and leaves our class to go to school. He's, he's a very good instructor, I think. I like his uh, pacing. Yeah. So last, last April, he didn't know any Spanish. That's amazing. And now he teaches. And now he's teaching? He's wow. teaching and he's amazing. We're going we're gonna to start doing this, I think, next year and uh, just charge. And I, we're going to hire him. He's to do Spanish. <laughs> And there he, he didn't even know Spanish and yet he can do this. Wow. We have uh, two grandkids and they're teaching an online class too. That's they, awesome. They just learned online with me. Wow. That class is fabulous. <laughs> it's just so when we get close to the end of our time, will you make some recommendations for us how to continue, like which class we should go into next? Yeah, we're going to offer a paid class, I think. That's what that would oh, be wonderful. It's going to be in that range of five to ten dollars a class, and uh, but we're we're going to offer this to keep going. So you'll just keep going from wherever we are, and hopefully we'll have other recruits join the class to make it a somewhat bigger class. And that's what we're planning for the fall. Good. <laughs> So we're gonna, uh, and we're gonna try and get more, we're just going into this now. We've never charged, and I've done this three years now, and now our business is gonna start doing it, and we're gonna charge and get teachers to do it and try and expand it. We know how well this works now. At first it was experimental, it's not experimental now. You guys are, you guys are amazing. What you're doing is amazing with this language in your brain. It was, it's just a thrill. Sandia, I loved her talking tonight. Which, no, I, and, I, and I could see why she said three, you know, because there's, there's just a little hesitation and it's lack of confidence. And that's how you get a three. But her Spanish was fabulous. Yes. You know? And so we try to get you more confident. And then that hesitation gets less and less. Okay. That's that's the goal of our class to get that like we call it strong and healthy language, and it takes the whole job that we do as a teacher is to try to not go on, and try and add very little. When we but now you look at where we are now from the beginning. It, it's amazing what what we've added just a little bit every time, and we keep adding and uh, and then we we also. When you talk to me, you put an S. You say, tu tienes, tu vives, tu eres. And when you talk about yourself, you say, yo soy, yo vivo, yo hablo, yo puedo. And when you talk about Carol, you say, Carol puede. 
Carol Hoblock. Carol. Uh, and, and so all of those things, that gets strong and healthy in your brain. Mm -hmm. And so like our kids in these intermediate, more advanced classes, they're just so good at those verbs. You know, they're, they don't hesitate on their verbs. And so we know, because we this is my third time through this, this is where you guys will be. You just keep at it. And we don't add very many verbs. How, who, who knows how to say I make from tonight? Um, I'll go. I'll go. Oh, yeah, there you go. I'll go. And if you're hesitant on that, we just keep I'll you go. going. And <laughs> I say is what? Make. 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 That's what. He makes or she makes. And what about puede? Can. Can. Or is able to. Is able to, yeah. What about puedo? I can. I, I can. So how do you say I can talk Spanish? Puedo, puedo, puedo hablar uh, español. Celebración para la <laughs> so your brain will start putting it together more and more and you just talk and talk and I find that so we have so much opportunity to speak and it's and I think that's a huge difference because usually you learn a language and it's all in your head and this this allows us to feel comfortable saying things and it starts to just become like when I'm speaking English I don't have to think about what I'm saying. I find it funny actually because sometimes when I'm practicing my Spanish I'll get to a point where I, I feel like I'm rolling along and then all of a sudden it's, I realize I can't say something and it's, it's like what? All the time in our advanced classes they'll yeah. stop because they run into something they don't know how to say. Yeah and you have to reword it in some roundabout way. Yeah. Sometimes it's a simple word like have and you know how to say have. Someone missed Someone, had, I think Jenny or somebody paused on has. And yeah. You know, Jenna, but you just can't get it right at that moment. You know? Right, right. But then next time it'll get faster, get stronger. Mm -hmm. We have in my advanced, in my intermediate and advanced classes, Paige's mom is in both those classes. Mm -hmm. And so Paige's mom has a university minor in Spanish. She came to these classes and she just said, I've learned so much more in two or three months of these classes and I learned in a university minor in Spanish. Yeah. Uh, and the, it's just the way it's taught, you know, you'll just learn this way and you get good and, you know, it's just... Uh, and we're learning language that's useful instead of learning how to say, well, I don't know, whatever they teach you in textbooks. This is oh. much more useful. Textbook is all about getting through the book and covering stuff. It doesn't have anything to do about your language. But we do the opposite. We say, we look at your language. We look at Sandia and hear, oh, she's not confident. So we want to get her more confident at that. And mm -hmm. it's just, so you get more confidence by not moving on and not adding. Like tonight, I added very little, I bet. Yeah. I you added a lot yesterday. I did add a lot yesterday, but tonight I added um, virtually none. It was all about me, but it was a parallel situation. I have a house, I have bedrooms, I have mosquitoes. I don't even, let's see, I added, uh, I wrote something. Oh, and Tom says. You want Tago? And Ness. Tago. Tago. Yes. Tago was new. So puede, puedo. What verb is that? I can? can. But in the infinitive in English is to be able to. Oh, thank you. So you could say, I am able to talk or I can talk. And you're saying the exact same thing. Awesome. That's a cool verb. Yeah. Oh, like so useful. Mm. I Like in my Portuguese, I use el posso falar portugues. I, that's... It's so important. Shaylee, what were you going to say? Shaylee, mm -hmm. you're doing great. Don't you feel good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have my brain just gets oh, oh. spin yeah. around. But I just had a question. So I know how to say like your casa is, mm -hmm. is big, but if I'm saying your casa has um, like the, the 22 dormitorios, do I still say tienes? So like if I say tu tienes casa grande, but then do I say tu casa 
TNA? TNA, you're talking about the house. Okay. I said no because it's still your house, but I didn't know. It doesn't matter. It's that. Okay. You're talking about the house. Tu casa tiene 20 dormitorios. That's right. Okay. Thank you. And then you have, then it's tu tienes. Tu tienes. Yes. Okay. And then USA was uses. Is you is USA or USA? USA is that the used? Is that the past tense? Aba. You saw, okay, never mind. I, <laughs> there's Aba and Ia. And Ia. Remember the word Estaba? Yeah. yeah. So it's the same as Estaba, only Usaba. Usaba, oh. okay. Like El Elefante Usaba El Baño, and la, he used the bathroom in the house. Okay. That would be the past of Usa. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So okay, good job, you guys. Oh, I might be back Tuesday. Tuesday's my normal day. So. Okay. Good. You got me three times in a row. So. Yeah, oh. thank you. Your classes are great. Thank you, Blaine. Celebrate hey. la clase. Good job, you guys. Great. Gracias. See you Saturday morning. Oh, yeah, Saturday morning in Portuguese. Yeah. <laughs> At 7 a.m. for me. <laughs>